what's up guys welcome to another video welcome to the channel welcome to another day in the life of 75 hard before we move on and i tell you what's going on go ahead and smash that subscribe button turn on that notification bell so you guys know what's going on go ahead and um follow me on tiktok the description below i'm posting almost every day about my updates on 75 hard so if you guys want to see that go ahead and subscribe there um uh, so today we're in a different area than i usually am today i'm in ruskin florida what's ruskin florida well ruskin florida they have um uh, it's near tampa and as you guys saw we were in the rv so last night we drove over to ruskin florida where we came to the rv and um uh, basically we got we're going to the rv show um the rv show it's pretty big, but you guys will see that in the next video. I think that video is going to be posted on Wednesday about the RV show. But today I wanted to take you guys along with me on my run and give you guys an update of what's going on with 75 Heart. So it's five o'clock in the morning. Okay. I decided I needed to get my work in. And that's one of the things that I have said that 75 Heart has changed in me. It's making me prioritize my workouts and making sure that I feel like I want to get stuff done. So like for instance, like today, we're going to the RV show. I have to make sure that I get my workouts done already for the day so that I don't interrupt my family time and making sure. In the past, if you guys have followed my channel, I've always done that for running but i gotta do two 45 minute workouts a day and that is where the struggle lies is trying to get those two workouts done especially when you're a dad especially when you're doing all that stuff that's the biggest problem so prioritizing things has really made it very like puts me in my mind of making sure that i get that shit done that's really been the big processes of it all so now hopefully you guys can see me but in this rv park that we're staying doesn't have great lighting but like i said today we're going to be doing a uh, about 30 minute run so what i've been doing with my runs is i'm trying to build that that aerobic base again so what i've been doing is i've been walking at a good pace for 15 minutes and then running straight for 30 minutes i'm not worrying about speed or, or anything but i'm just trying to get the mileage done so that that way um uh, i can start building that aerobic base because you know i do want to run that half marathon this year that's my goal this year i'm definitely going to run that half marathon and I feel like 75 Heart has guided me so far through where I need to go because, like, I feel stronger. I feel, you know, I feel good. I really feel good. Like, in the beginning of this whole process, you know, it was tough. It hurt. My body hurt. But now I've been taking sleep as a priority. I've been doing all that stuff. So, thankfully, things have been working out. So... Now it's time to do my run. We'll try to see if I can get some clips of me running, but it's gonna be difficult because it's dark. So we'll see what we can do. There. This is one of the greatest parts about running is that you wake up in the morning, it's dark, you finish your run, and then boom, sunrise. But 75 hard has been one of the most challenging things for me. And it's been challenging, but it's also been really great to see a lot of the things that I've been able to tell myself that I can accomplish because I feel like it's been really great. But one of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about that's been really inspiring me to move on is one of the things that I've been listening to in a podcast for a lot of you guys that have been watching my channel a lot. You know, I do a lot of things that is based on inspiration of a, a YouTuber called Nick Bear. You know, um, he owns a company called Bear Performance Nutrition that I'm always constantly talking about because they have the best supplements. But one of the things that uh, I heard in one of his podcasts was very, very good that um, really inspired me 
to continue to move forward. So he did a uh, he did a podcast with his um, uh, running coach. His name is Jeff Cunningham, and um, uh, Jeff Cunningham he's helped a lot of runners meet their goals and stuff like that and he is helping nick bear do a sub 250 um um uh, marathon and he said something to me that i was like you know wow i'm gonna share it with you guys i did a video about this on tiktok but i'm gonna share it with you guys listen one of the most important things I tell people is, is it's more important to be consistently good than occasionally great, right? And what I mean by that is, is you don't go out there and go, man, I crushed that workout. Well, yeah, you were laying on the ground for an hour after you were done, and now you can't walk for two days later, right? That's occasionally great. Let's just be consistently good. Let's show up. Let's understand the parameters of the workout. Let's be passionate about investment in the process and sticking to the plan and be passionate about watching the fitness creep in almost insidiously it's like plate tectonics it just slowly creeps in and then suddenly you wake up on race day and it's like wow i put in some amazing training i'm ready it is more important to be consistently good than occasionally great it's more important to be consistently good than occasionally great. When I heard that, I really hit, hit here. You know, people always put themselves in these positions that they need to do something and force themselves to do something and force themselves to be the hard badass. But if you're working out and you can't even walk the next day, what what's the purpose? You're not gaining anything from that. So I'm going to leave you guys with that message. And I'm going to leave it one more time. I'm letting you guys know it's okay to be good. It's okay. It's okay to be con consistently good. It's okay to do that. But don't you don't have to be occasionally great. I think I'm saying that wrong. But listen, guys, like I always do. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for being part of the channel. Go ahead, smash that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell. And like I always do, guys, I'm leaving.